Judge, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to ask you to comment on precedents or cases of the Supreme Court. Is that okay with you? Okay. Good. I just want to try to understand the way you think and, uh, and what your beliefs are. Uh, when, in your opinion, does life begin? Well, Senator, uh, from my reading of Supreme Court precedent. No, sir, I'm, I, I'm not interested in the law. I'm interested in you. When, in your opinion, does life begin? You can't hear me? Can you hear me now? And we want to. You want me to start over? No. <laughs> well, I just used 20 seconds. I want you to add 20 seconds to my... Let me ask no the question again. When, in your opinion, does life begin? Well, Senator, I don't believe my own personal views enter into the picture I know, as a judge. I understand that you're going to follow precedent. I'm just asking you, I want to get to know you. You're going to be on, on the Court of Appeal if you're confirmed. When, in your opinion, does life begin? And so what I was ex explaining is uh, whatever my personal views on those areas, I do set them to one side because I understand is, that, but I'm trying to understand what those opinions are. Are you going to answer my question? Well, I, in answering, I would not want to give the impression that I'm prejudging a situation. I'll or, stipulate or, you're not prejudging. Or, or allowing my own personal views I'll to be stipulate that. Into. And so, well, I, I, Senator, uh, respectfully. Have you thought about it? About when life begins? Yeah. Yes. And what did you conclude? Uh, I conclude that as a judicial nominee and a sitting judge, I would not want those views to weigh into how I approach cases, and, and I would follow Supreme Court precedent right. and its guiding precedent. All right. I, I get it. Um, let me ask you your thoughts on another subject. Biologically, how many sexes are there? I, as I understand it, uh, there are different views on that. On that topic, I'm as asking you your view. Uh, I, again, that is an area that I believe could come before me as an issue, as it has come recently. I'm not asking about a case. I'm asking about you. Biologically, in your opinion, as a thinking adult, how many sexes are there? I, Senator, I, as I said before, my own personal views. Uh, I don't want them to enter into uh, my role as a judge. And so if I were to be faced with an issue where uh, a person's sex or gender came before me, I would apply that Supreme Court precedent right. and consider it in the, in the context of... We stipulated to that. We stipulated to that. I'm asking you personally, biologically, how many sexes are there in your opinion? I, I would give the same answer as before, where I would not want to give a, a, an answer of my personal view and, and give the impression that I'm prejudging an issue myself. Okay. Have you thought about it? I have. Okay. What was your conclusion? That it is a, a matter of importance and debate in, in our society today. And uh, while I have my own personal views about it, my role as a judge is to apply the law and precedent and, and let the arguments and facts speak for themselves. All right. In your opinion, is the California Court of Appeals systemically racist? Senator, I, I have not had occasion to consider whether a court system is systemically racist as a, as a court. I, as a general matter, I, I believe judges take their oath of office very seriously. And I, try I to agree consider. with that. But what about the California Court of Appeal? Is it systemically racist? As I said, if, if, there is, if the issue of systemic racism were to come in, I would consider it uh, within the context of whatever the arguments are. Have you thought about it? Uh, as a private citizen, as, as a general matter, I've, I've, I, I know that systemic racism is a, is a topic of discussion. Okay, so is the Court of Appeal, in your opinion, on which you sit systemically racist? I believe that the judges that in which serve on the Court of Appeal or the Supreme Court try well, to handle answer my questions. Try to handle their their cases. Why won't you answer my questions, Judge? 
Here's, I'm sorry, here's, Senator. Here's my final one. What's your favorite color? Blue. Good. That was easy. I don't understand why you won't answer my questions. And you're not the first nominee that has come forward that refuses to answer a single question in five minutes. How can I vote for you if you won't answer my questions? Well, Senator, I, if, if systemic racism were a matter that came before me and- I didn't ask that. I stipulated that wasn't going to be the case. I'm just asking your opinion. You sit on the bench. You think it's systemically racist. But, it, but, but I do understand your favorite color, and I appreciate that. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.